In this video, we're going to look at more trigonometric identities. So we're going to start with the identity that we should already know from a previous video. We've got tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta. And we're going to use this to make an identity for cot theta. So if we change tan theta to 1 over cot theta. And then what we're just going to do is we're going to flip both sides over. So we're going to get cot theta equals cos theta over sine theta. So here we have an identity for cot theta. So we can change cos over sine to cot in the same way we can change sine over cos to tan. Here's another identity that we should already be familiar with. We've got sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1. And what we're going to do here, we're going to create two new identities by dividing through by sine and dividing through by cos. If we divide through by cos first, so divide through by cos squared x. So each term is divided by cos squared x. So we've got sine squared x over cos squared x, which sine over cos is tan, so we've got tan squared x. Cos squared x over cos squared x, or well, anything divided by itself, is 1. And 1 over cos squared x, that's sec squared x. So here's our one of our new identities. And then we're going to do the same thing, but divide by sine. So each term divided by sine squared x. Sine over sine, anything divided by itself is 1. Cos squared x over sine squared x, cos over sine, that gives us cot. So we've got cot squared x. And 1 over sine squared x, that's cosec squared x. So here is our other new identity. So now we've got the identity of, so sec squared x equals 1 plus tan squared x, or we could have cosec squared x as 1 plus cot squared x. And we need to remember these two identities. Cosec goes with cot, they both begin with a co. So cosec squared x is 1 plus cot squared x, and sec squared x is 1 plus tan squared x. But if you don't remember them, you could always generate them again by taking the original identity and dividing through by cos and dividing through by sine. So let's look at solving some equations using these. So we've got sec squared x plus 6 tan x plus 4 equals 0. So I can get rid of sec squared x. And I can do that because sec squared x is 1 plus tan squared x. So I can replace sec squared x with 1 plus tan squared x. So I'll do that. 1 plus tan squared x plus 6 tan x plus 4 equals 0. Collecting the like terms, I've got 10 squared x plus 6 tan x plus 5 equals 0. And then I can factorise. So 10 x in both brackets. What multiplies to make 5 and adds to make 6? We've got 5 and 1. So plus 5 plus 1. So that means 10 x equals negative 5 or 10x equals negative 1. So we're going to do arc tan, shift tan to get x by itself. So arc tan of negative 5 and arc tan of negative 1. So we're in radians, so make sure the calculator is in radians and shift tan negative 5. So we get our 
minus 1.37 to two decimal places. We'll do two decimal places. And we need the answers between 0 and 2 pi. So we want to add pi to find the next answer. 1.77. And add another pi, 4.91. Shift tan minus 1, arc tan negative 1, minus 1 quarter pi. Add pi to get the next one, so 3 quarters pi. And add another pi, 7 quarters pi. So... Between 0 and 2 pi, we have 1.77, 3 quarters pi, 4.91, and 7 quarters pi. Here we've got another similar question. We've got cos x squared x minus cot x minus 13 equals 0. So this time... We're going to get rid of cos x squared x using the identity. And the identity this time is cos x squared x equals 1 plus cot squared x. So we're going to change cos x squared x to 1 plus cot squared x. So we've got 1 plus cot squared x minus cot x minus 13 equals zero. So collecting like terms, we have cot squared x minus cot x minus 12 equals zero. So we can factorize now, so cot x in both brackets. So what multiplies to make negative 12 and adds to make negative 1? We're going to have plus 3 and a minus 4. So that means cot x equals negative 3 or cot x equals 4. We can't put cot in a calculator, so we're going to change it to tan. Tan x equals minus a third or tan x equals 1 quarter so we're just flipping over both sides and now we're gonna arc tan shift tan both sides so x equals arc tan minus a third or x equals arc tan one quarter so we're in radians still typing into the calculator so shift tan minus a third and to two decimal places again, I've got minus 0 0.32 for the first one. We're going to add on pi because we need the answer between 0 and 2 pi. So that's 2.82. 2.82. And one more time, 5.96. So there's our two answers for that one. And for the other one, shift can one quarter, 0 0.24, and add in pi on to get the next answer is 3.39. So there we go, four answers again. So we've got 0 0.24, 2.82, 3.39, and 5.96 radians. Okay, here we've got a slightly harder question. We've got cot squared x plus cos x squared x plus 5 cos x equals 2. So the difference here is we've got two terms which are squared. So we've got cot squared x and cos x squared x. And we've got to decide which one we're going to get rid of. So because there's an extra cos x here, that means we want to make the whole question in terms of cosec. So we're going to get rid of the cot, and so all the terms are cosec. 
So we're going to get rid of the cot by using cosec squared x equals 1 plus cot squared x. So we can get rid of cot by taking 1 away from both sides here. So cosec squared x minus 1 equals cot squared x. So we're going to substitute cosec squared x minus 1 in for cot squared x. So that gives us cosec squared x minus 1 plus cosec squared x plus 5 cosec x equals 2. So collecting the like terms, we've got 2 cosec squared x plus 5 cosec x. And if we take 2 away from both sides, might we get minus 3 equals 0. Now we're going to factorise this, so we're going to put it into two brackets. We're going to have a 2 cosec x and a cosec x. We're going to have a 3 and a 1, and we're going to want plus 6 minus 1. And so there it is, factorised. That means cosec x must be a half, or cosec x must be minus 3. So we can't put cosec x in a calculator, so we're going to change them to in terms of sine. So if we flip over both sides, we get sine x equals 2, and sine x equals minus 1 third. So now we're going to shift sign, make sure the calculator's in radians, because we want our answers between 0 and 2 pi. So shift sign 2, this one will give us no solutions, because sign goes between negative 1 and positive 1. And shift sign minus 1 third, that gives us our first answer, if we do to two decimal places again minus 0 0.34 and then because we're in sine we're going to do pi minus that answer 3.48 but we want our answers between 0 and 2 pi so we're going to have to take our first answer and add 2 pi to it so get the first answer add 2 pi and that gives us 5.94 so we've got two answers between 0 and 2 pi we've got 3.48 radians and 5.94 radians okay here's another question similar to the last one if you want to pause the video give it to go and then i'll go through the answer after Okay, so this time we've got tans and we've got sex. We need to get rid of the tan squared x to make everything in terms of sec x. Sec squared x equals 1 plus tan squared x. So that means tan squared x must be sec squared x minus 1. So we're going to substitute sec squared x minus 1 in for tan squared x. So we've got sec squared x minus 1 plus sec squared x plus 3 sec x equals 4. So collecting the like terms, we've got 2 sec squared x's plus 3 sec, sec x minus 5 if we take 4 away from both sides equals 0. So we're going to factorise this, so we're going to have 2 sec x and sec x. We're going to have a 5 and a 1, and we want a plus 3, so plus 5 sec x minus 2 sec x. So that means sec x is minus 5 over 2 and sec x equals 1. 
So we're going to change the sex to cos's now. So cos x is minus 2 fifths by flipping over both sides. And cos x equals 1 by flipping over both sides. So we're going to shift cos. So shift cos minus 2 fifths. That's 1.98 to two decimal places. And because it's cos, 2 pi minus the answer. 4.30 to two decimal places. For cos x equals 1, if we shift cos 1, we get 0. And 2 pi minus answer, well, that's 2 pi. So there are four answers.